a little bit about myself. I am Sean Lorenz. I'm the uh, uh, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Zively, which is LogMeIn's IoT product. And uh, we've been talking a lot lately about security and the Internet of Things. This year it's it's been a big topic. And one aspect of it that I want to kind of talk about, um, you've heard a lot of different kind of uh, interesting angles on security and the Internet of Things, but I, I want to focus mainly on the, the notion of identity in the IoT and what role that's going to play. So uh, as a former uh, philosophy major from a former life, uh, you know, I studied a lot of Socrates, and he, one of his famous quotes, of course, is, know thyself, the unexamined life is not worth living. So uh, one thing I guess you could take away from this is uh, not only know thyself, but know thyself uh, from a company's standpoint and uh, know who everyone is, and thyself gets a little more complicated once you think about all the different people and things that you have to include into that statement. So uh, the, the real key here is, is securing all the things. Uh, the, the big problem with um, the Internet of Things as far as if anyone has um, been watching a lot of the news is you know, out of CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, one of the biggest issues, almost everything, was about security. Um, people are, in general, pretty pretty worried about this as a topic, and they should be. Um, a lot of these kind of um, Kickstarter campaigns that have arisen, you know, they, they don't really think about security up front. They just want to raise their goal uh, for their cool new IoT product that they're trying to sell. And they try to do it as quickly as possible with probably off the shelf and you know open source packages that can they can quickly get up and running so that they can um, you know uh, get get this out the door fast. Um, the only problem with that is security becomes an afterthought as you know Attila said as well. Um, and that's that's a big problem. Um, there's a lot of a lot of issues that you've already heard about with this kind of approach. And so, in order to really take this seriously, it has to be implemented in the design stage before you even start building something. Um, and this is kind of counterintuitive to how a lot of things have been done to date. Um, there are a lot of bigger companies now that are entering the Internet of Things, and they are thinking about this. But I don't think they're really aware either of what all these different aspects are yet. There's a lot to kind of uh, tackle, especially for uh, companies that have producing and manufacturing physical products for sometimes hundreds of years. Um, you know, coal mining and, uh, you know, different kind of manufacturing companies who've made... Um, light bulbs or any sort of other products, you know, they, they weren't in the business of software and security. Um, they were in the business of making physical things, physical products that were unconnected. Now that they're suddenly thrust into the, the world of the IoT, it, it's a new world for them. Understanding how to secure all this stuff is very foreign to them. So it requires a lot of uh, thought up front with people that understand this from the get-go. And really, one of the biggest IoT hurdles, like I was mentioning, is this idea of identity and access management, or IAM. Um, really understanding all the complexity of what goes into an Internet of Things product, um, you know, like I said, the Kickstarter campaign, you know, it might just say, okay, I'm going to connect your sprinkler up with an app. Um, but that's, that's just the beginning. It's not just you know, possibly an app with some cloud service going down to the product itself, right? There's a lot more that has to get get addressed. You have to understand all the different places and people and things and applications and business systems that are going to need access to all this data. 
So identity is no longer, you know, like so Socrates said, know thyself. Know thyself just got really complicated because all the thyself, you know, it means there's a whole lot of people with identities in the entire chain of the IoT. So you have to think about not just the product being secure, you know, both on the hardware, uh, on the board, uh, on the wire, um, as well as in the cloud, but you also have to uh, think about, you know, if are you building a Heroku application on top of it, an AWS application? Are you um, are you creating um, an end user app on an iPhone, um, as well as uh, you know, like a tablet app for a technician, or you know, it might be a customer service rep, or it might be your CRM or ERP systems. Um, as you can see, you know, the number of people who need identity and access to something grows exponentially with the IoT, whereas in the past, um, this, this was much simpler. So, like I was saying, in the past, you know, identity and access management was, um, was a very different kind of um, proposal. You know, it's, it's still, identity and access management is, is a fairly kind of new term to some people. Um, and it's, it's, it's been a little bit easier to kind of understand as far as, you know, a lot of people thought IAM handled, you know, single sign-on and, you know, this, this kind of notion of understanding one app, one user, um, one, one kind of service, right? Whereas, um, you know, that's, that's not the truth anymore. Uh, right now, there could be you know, uh, multiple products for just one manufacturer. So you might have, um, you know, GE makes um, a, a dishwasher, but they also might make a washing machine, um, you know, a coffee make, a coffee pot. There's, they may have 20 or even 50 different SKUs, um, and each of those products, you know, might communicate to each other. But then if we really want to take this from not just the Internet of Thing, but the Internet of things, um, you're going to want to communicate across all the different kinds of manufacturers, you know, your Lutron lights, um, your, your blinds, your floors, it does, you get the idea. So in, in order to really handle identity um, in, outside of the more traditional kind of web uh, user interface and web kind of um, infrastructure setup, um, we have to find ways to handle the complexity of all these different um, users and identities that are trying to access the data coming off our, our connected products. So um, relationships, as Will Farrell is uh, showing here, um, are, are key to understanding the Internet of Things. Um, and what I mean by that is um, it's, it's, you know, there's the, when you have a product, you have to understand how you have build an object directory and trust and kind of authentication and all the different pieces that you have to put in for product lifecycle management in the past also apply here um, where you need to have handle all the different relationships that that identity has as well as to the product and to the other people trying to access this. Um, uh, it was discussed in the, the last talk about MQTT. You can imagine your broker, you can have communication, you know, secure messaging through MQTT, but in order to handle um, the complexity, you know, there's many-to-many -many, uh, relationships involved of, of uh, one device to possibly dozens of different uh, entities, you know, subscribe to a message. Uh, and then also published back down to uh, not just to that device, but other devices as well, based on shared information. So really what we're talking about with identity, you know, is, is, uh, is knowing who has access to what and when. And that, I think, is at the core of um, a big piece of the security issue, is people really are a little scared to know who has access to what. And as long as you're securing that, in a proper way by using, um, you know, an IoT platform that understands this and is able to kind of uh, 
uh, handle all these issues ahead of time, you know, that then it gets hairy. And, and if you're that Kickstarter company and suddenly you have users who want um, want to make sure they're secure, you know, they might be outgrowing themselves too quick. So as you can see, this is this is what uh, makes IAM really difficult in the IoT. Uh, it's not just anymore about an app to um, a backend server. It's not just um, you know going a one point one user kind of uh, system. It, it gets extremely robust, extremely complicated. Uh, there's a lot of different ways people have tried to handle this with graph nodes and you know different kinds of complexity of how do you uh, even map this out. Um, so when you're dealing with access and identity, there's a lot of hand handshakes that have to happen across the different users. And um, as long as you understand, you know, you have users, you have applications and devices, and how each of these interact with each other before uh, delivering and granting access to that information, then, um, then you're well ahead. You also have to deal with um, understanding the kinds of groups of information. So if, let's say, um, you're a building manager and you have access to certain um, rights, like turning on and off the lights, um, the HVAC system, um, you might grant someone who's only coming in for two hours to repair that HVAC system um, certain access at that given time. You know, you may also give them different abilities um, in, in, in addition to just identity and access. So they may be able to access it, but they may only be able to access certain uh, topics in the messaging, or they may be only able to access certain pieces of that information. So you can see there's a lot of really interesting ways you can limit this, this data for them. So where do you start? Uh, Really, I think this goes back to what I said at, 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 the, at the start, which is think about it from the design stage. You, you have to take it seriously and not just um, keep it as an afterthought. Uh, this has to be something, if you, if you really want to build a successful connected product, that, you know, if you get lucky and build the next Nest thermostat, you know, you're going to have to handle the complexities that I'm talking about. I'm sure Google has had to deal with this as well. Uh, it's not a simple problem and it requires a lot of thought. So when you're thinking through the security aspect of your product, um, it's extremely important to also uh, think through your identity and how you're going to handle access and authentication um, for those users. So I kept it pretty short and sweet. Um, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.